Hi, my name is uh, Jim Lerner with Comsys. With my side here, I have Christian Born, also with Comsys, and we have been uh, reflecting a bit over the new uh, addition to IEEE 519. So Christian is kind of our expert here, and uh, what do you have to say about the new uh, standard here, as we could say it? Yeah, the big thing is actually you're saying it. It's a standard now. In the past, it was actually a recommended practice. And now since 2022, this is actually now a standard. So it has a little bit more legal force behind the, uh, the standard uh, as it before was more a, a vaguer thing. So has it been some clarification of the PCC, the point of common coupling? Absolutely. You know, this is a big thing that we have always seen in the past that people say, hey, I need to have my IEEE 519 on this drive. but. As we all know, the PCC is the important point for the, for the IEEE 519. And now they wrote specifically that this standard is not intended for the ev evaluation of equipment. So that really clearly states now this is a system standard and not an equipment standard. So um, how do you think the, the um, user will adapt to this? Will it be something that we want to see in the market? or? I hope so, because uh, we, we all know that if you install the equipment for, uh, to compensate on a single load, it's not as, as good, not, not as effective as if you do that on a PCC level. So I really hope that it's, uh, the market will now adapt a little bit more to that, but time will tell. Yeah, definitely. It will be interesting, of course, and as you said, now it's a standard, what's going to happen? Uh, did it happen anything otherwise with the uh, levels of current distortion or? So the current distortion themselves did not change very much. There was a tiny, tiny change on the even order harmonics, but uh, you can more or less ignore that. But the main harmonics are staying the way it is. However, there's another interesting change uh, that I find very interesting, and that is on the maximum demand load current. On the maximum demand load current in the past, it simply said you need to measure for one year and after one year you know your maximum demand load current. For new installation, they just said use good engineering practice. Now in the new standard, it is more spe specific, uh, specified how to actually set up a, a system on a, on a greenfield. So if you have a greenfield, if you have a a new installation that's already running for a little while, for a month or so, you can do the measurement on one month, and already on that one month you can figure out what uh, what your target or what your maximum demand current uh, load is. And if you have an installation that is completely new, then you simply go and look at your load, and you, you see how much load do you actually have there, how much load is supposed to run, and that is then your, your maximum demand load current. Yeah, that's uh, actually a good improvement. Absolutely, yes. Anything new on the uh, voltage distortion levels? Voltage distortion stays the same. We are at 8% voltage distortion and 5% single order harmonics. Um, I know there are still people that are saying uh, it's 5 and 3%, but this is a long time ago. That already has changed uh, since the standard changed in 2014. Uh, so we are at 8% uh, total voltage distortion and 5% uh, single order harmonics. Okay, uh, thank you Christian, that was very uh, useful information. Uh, thank you hope, Jim. Uh, uh, also the users find this uh, information uh, useful and uh, start to look at the PCC and not uh, do the compensation only per the load user uh, product. So that will be good to see here in the future. Thank you. Thank you.